Hello, my name is Kevin Davis and I am the Regional Product Manager for the Mobile Printers at Zebra Technologies. Today I would like to introduce you to the new Zebra ZQ220 Mobile Label and Receipt Printer. The ZQ220 sits in the commoditized value tier space, but is built with state-of-the-art feature set and to the same high standards and quality that our customers have come to expect, and in the same factory where we build the rest of our mobile printer portfolio, including the ZQ300, the ZQ500, and the ZQ600 series printers. Now we will take a look at setting up the new Zebra ZQ220 mobile printer. We will now take a look at the pictorial quick reference guide. We passed through step one, unboxing the printer, so we move on to step two. If we look on the lower housing of the printer, we will see there is a QR code. If scanned with your smart device, that will take the browser to a website landing page which will contain a lot of useful product information, including uh, user guides and also how to buy media for your printer. Step three, we now look at setting up the printer itself. And for that, we need to remove the battery, which as you will see is covered by a protective film. Now, before inserting the battery, you should first attach the belt clip if it is intended to use that. And because our batteries ship in sleep mode, a charge must first be applied before the printer can be used. So if we release the media bay lever, take a roll of paper, we need to tear off the outer cover wrap, which is quite likely dirty. Insert that into the media bay. And now apply the charge. So if we open the port cover, and insert the USB cable, like so. Turn the power on and the printer should then power up as we will see indicated on the display panel. And if we press the feed key, we see that it will start to feed paper. Looking at page two of the quick start guide, and it has instructions on how to set up your printer, including downloading the Zebra Setup Utility, which is a free download from zebra.com. And there's other information available as well, again by scanning the QR code on the lower housing of the printer. 